too much noise. Oh, let me put a song to that. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we have the victory. Oh, in the name, oh, mighty name, oh, oh. Too much. So they believe it, let them see it, let them see you. Oh, 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 oh. YouTube channel catching Kiara I'm super excited about today um, because this is something that I have really been digging and it's um, y'all know I like to watch my weight this dress is not showing that I'm pulled together it's kind of flowy y'all know when we in the kitchen we like to be uh, what you call it comfortable so um, it's not showing you know but when I put my hands there okay but anyways I'm super excited so thank you for tuning in Thank you for subscribing, all of the love and all of that. Y'all really have been watching and I'm so glad that you love it. I'm gonna do something different today, but I was telling y'all, um, I'm always being considerate of my way. Um, sometimes I'll have my weeks when I just eat what I want and then I'll have my other days where I'm like, okay, let's pull back, let's do what we need to do. And of course, y'all know these carbs, they will take you out, okay? Did y'all see that out? The carbs and the sugars will take you out. Um, so, but we like to eat and I just, the Lord has revealed to me that it's okay to still watch your weight and not only eat lettuce. Hallelujah. What a marvelous revelation. Okay. So anyways, um, today I have been turned on to these palmini noodles and they are like the best. So when I want pasta, this is better to me than, um, don't judge me. This, this is my opinion. Zucchini noodles. I like these better because they get a little soggy. Um, not these, but the zucchini noodles. The other options that I've had, I'll just say that. They get a little soggy for me. So I love these. And then I also love hearts of, um, hearts of palm. So I'm getting ready to do this. I'm getting ready to make an attempt. I did it before and it was really good. Of course, because it is a vegetable, you're gonna have more of a water base than the pasta because that sticks together and it just, it sticks. And I think that's why we shouldn't have so much of it probably because it sticks. Praise God. So we're going to jump into that. Um, so let's do it. Let's do it. I don't want to hold up the time. We got turkey meat. We got the palmini noodles. Um, and they also have them in angel hair and I think in linguine. So I love it all. But this and then this is a um, vegan cheese. And then we got the ricotta. We got the parmesan. Um, my cheddar is in the refrigerator, so I got to pull that out. And then this is the feta cheese. So all of the cheeses, this, um, you could do the ragu, but I have um, rayos or whatever this is called, just because the, um, the bottle is cute. Praise God. But I like anything tomatoes, y'all. I love tomatoes. I got one onion, because I'm gonna make a small pan. And um, I made this for Jordan and he enjoyed it. He actually is not a lasagna fan, but, um, yeah, so we're gonna try this. It's gonna be a small pan and then the onion. So this is easy. Uh, for a long time, I thought uh, lasagna was complicated. Of course, I'm sure there are some lasagna pros out there. Love you, boo, love you, boo. Um, and shout out to all of the Instagrammers that I've been watching because I be looking for tips. I be looking, I look for tips that will help me. All right, let's get into it. So here's my turkey ground beef. Um, I'm gonna be ghetto and I'm just gonna put it in here. This I'm a little bit more comfortable with. Um, I'm gonna put a little oil in there. If only I could open this a new bottle. Put a little oil in there. It's something right there. I call myself being fancy. And you just gonna season this meat to your liking, okay? This stuff, somebody's at the door. Uh, let me take off my stuff. Um, my mom made this the cooking jewelry cup. So when we cook and they take our stuff off. Um, but so yes, I'm super excited about um, 
cooking this because it is something special. And um, when I'm home, I do so much better, y'all. I don't know about y'all, but when I'm not... So this is one thing that I really want to do for the new year. I have been learning when I'm intentional and when I am planning, when I am strategic, so the results are so much better. So I know a lot of us, and I was just talking to T about this today, but I know a lot of us are super easy with like, we can make the last minute things work. Like a lot of us can just, okay, it is what it is. I'm gonna make it. I can think off the cuff. Just because you can do it, that doesn't mean that it is healthy. And so I have been really challenged to step it up, especially since I don't have children yet. Now I got my husband. That already is me having to plan, consider his schedule, consider what he wants me to do. So I'm just really inspired for the new year to be better. And I enjoy planning. I feel accomplished. So I don't know if you are going into the new year, because I know a lot of us are like, oh, I don't feel like the trans. <laughs> and a lot of people are like, new you, new y'all. We done that already. But it, it, it really is good to reflect and just kind of see, okay, these were some behavioral patterns that I've done over the year, and I'm going to do this different because that wasn't cutting out good for me. So I'm really excited about the change. So let's get into it anyways, but I just wanted to share that with y'all. Y'all know I always got to share it with y'all something. We're not making burgers, so don't put that together like that, Key. I'm going to turn my heat down. Um, I actually lately, so let me tell y'all a truth. I was just, um, and I know some of y'all are like, not she taking it right out of the packet. I am. But I was just um, having some challenges with my legs. And I was like, Lord, I got to do with my knees. They were like popping as I was walking. And it might be the way. That's another reason why I want to stay consistent or considerate of what I'm taking or putting in my body. Some of you, some Himalayan salt, some black pepper. Y'all know garlic powder. Um, I think I'm going to put some Tony Satchers in there. And what else do I have in here? Do y'all just be putting stuff in your, in your stuff? I do. Um, I think I'm going to put some roasted garlic and onion powder. A lot of us call them the black people seasoning because it always does the job. Praise God. Um, but what am I telling y'all? Um... I know some of y'all like, you should have seasoned that before you got in. Okay. Just let me do my thing. I'm always on the go, and it's going to turn out just fine. I wish I had my whistle name, though. Where's my other one that's open? Um, it was something I was about to tell y'all. Oh, my knees were bothering me, and they were, like, cracking as I walk. Um, so I was like, okay, I got to do better. I need to do a lot better. So I started eating vegetables. I went on like a consecration and um, the Lord was working on me. And he was just like, you just got to fuel your body better. You're always on the go. You can't just be eating trash. So I'm like, all right, God, I got it. Um, and I started, I did like a week of vegetables, which I've done often. I've done, oh, that was too much. But anyway. I've done often, but the point that I'm trying to make is I did that and I actually saw a difference. I'm up here running down the uh, steps. <laughs> I had to be careful. The other day I ran down too fast, but I'm like, I'm back to normal. And so I know a lot of us are like, oh, I'm over y'all in the whole meat thing, but it does make a difference. So taking a break every now and then for me, it makes a difference. And I do know even with my singing, um, because meat causes inflammation um, in the swelling. And I'm, I'm thinking maybe it was a little inflammation on my knees or something like that. But I'm totally fine now. So the next week uh, or so, I've been doing like more seafood. And then I'll do stuff like little sporadic moments of other meats. But I have, I stayed away from beef. So I do notice the difference. I sleep better when I eat my vegetables. If I could be a vegan, I would be a vegan. But <sighs> I like meat. I'm so sorry. So I feel a little better, though, because as a um, pescatarian, I feel like you're liberated a little bit more because um, Jesus gave him uh, five some fishes and loaves of bread. So he gave him fish sandwiches. But that's just me. This is garlic powder. This is onion powder. But I'm going to season this how I want it. Oh, shoot. Okay. I got to heat my tomato sauce. 
I'm gonna turn this up. Am I the only one that turns your heat up? Because you don't, I don't like taking all day to cook. Y'all gotta pray for me. I'm gonna get another uh, a spatula. I want some more meat too. But my meat always turns out good. Sometimes I put in a little bit more oil. I'm gonna put a little seasoning salt. I need to heat my, ah, my whatchamacallit. I could put it in there, but let's do what, no, I need the other one. I don't think I have to heat this. I forgot how to do it, Lord. That, that's for spaghetti. I don't forgot how to do it, Lord. But, um, turned it on. Okay. Um, what else was I telling y'all? So that's that. I don't want to talk your ear off, but I'm letting y'all in to my world. Hi, Steve. <laughs> what was that? Um, this is good already. I'm going to get a cutting board. And I'm going to, I'm destroying my little cutting boards. Excuse me. I'm going to cut this onion and put some of it. Do I have some knives over here? Okay, am I the only one that has a knife thing? It's cute, but you only got one knife in there? How many slots is? Okay. Pray for us, saints. Are y'all praying? Uh oh, okay. Peel the onion. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. So, what are your New Year's resolutions? Let me ask that. And um, this is gonna be a New Year's, right? New Year's. Okay. What are your New Year's resolutions? Um, those are some things that I want to do different, and I am going to do different. And I already see the results. Because where, where, where the Lord wants us to go, which I understand why he says, write down your vision. Write it down. That, that's a part of time. Put the time, and you deserve the investment. <coughs> Not you sneezing, too. I'm going to wash this off. I forgot to wash it off. And I need to wash my board off. Um, but the Bible says, write down your vision. It talks a lot about planning. We think entrepreneurship is just all of a sudden a thing, and it's been a thing in the Bible. In God's word, his plans for you are for you to prosper. I'm starting over because I forgot to wash that. Okay. Um... But what was I telling y'all? Yeah, so I'm going to start planning some more. And a lot of people not going to agree with it. They're going to get annoyed by it because, you know, some of us are used to doing things one way. But they'll catch on. And if they don't, then we'll move on. So sorry. And that's how I got to be. Because actually planning is for your wellness. And that's going to help you. I'm putting this in here because I like onions. You don't have to like them. But I like onions. Okay? I'm going to just put a little bit in there. Um, I was talking to my sister. Her and my big sister were teasing me like, we don't put eggs in our macaroni. Do you put eggs in your macaroni? Tell me. Do you? You don't put eggs in your macaroni? Really? I put eggs in my macaroni. Let me turn this down. I'm going to put some more in here. You don't put eggs in your macaroni? Let's take a poll. Do you put eggs in your macaroni? I saw somebody else put. So is that a Midwest? Well, it can't be a Midwest thing because my brother is here. I just love onions. I can eat them raw. Do you like onions? Oh. Mmm. Mmm. I'm sorry, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna saute him some more though. I'm gonna put the rest of that meat in here too. 
Let's taste the meat. Let me see. I want to cut this up some more, though. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, that's one thing you can't tell me I don't know how to do. I know how to season some meat. I mean, if I'm wearing this juice, you ought to think I know how to taste something right. Okay? So, here we are. And if you were here at the house, no, I wouldn't do this. But this is going to be just for me and Jordan. So, I don't need y'all talking about, this why you don't eat in nobody. Okay. So, let's see. This can be chopped up a little bit more. I should have did that when it was raw. That's what I used to do. That's too much noise. Oh, let me put a song to that. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we have the victory. Oh, in the name. Oh, mighty name. Oh, oh. Too much. Too much noise. Okay. Okay, y'all. So I um I am putting some more onions in there. And I don't want my meat to get dry. <laughs> uh oh. And they popping. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to pour this in here. I made a little mess over there. The meat is juicy and good. I think I need a little bit more though. Sorry. What I'm missing, I would have put some green pepper in here. I would have put some, uh, what I'm trying to say. Some green pepper and some more tomatoes. But it's in my sauce, so that works out. This is the easy part. We already know how to do this. We know how to do this for spaghetti. But I like that it's keto friendly. So a lot of us are on the whole like low carb, low sugar, that whole little journey. Now, of course, the tomato going to do something. I'm going to put some more time. Put some more onion powder because that takes it. Where's the Himalayan salt? I know, and the saints keep my husband be on my head about the salt. I know, I know, I know. I love salt. The other day I had so much salt, woke up with a pounding headache. <laughs> Listen, I crack up at people sneezing. I don't know why. Why do I laugh so hard at somebody sneezing? Okay. Oh, Kiara. Now I'm gonna have to change clothes. This is too cute. Okay. I'll do it later. All right. I'm about to start. Let's see how I come out. So where's my bacon thing? I'm gonna cook some of that meat for something else. Yes. Yep, let me throw this away then. Okay. So what I'm getting ready to do is do these little sheets. And these are actually edible. I like hearts of palm. You like hearts of palm? I need to dry some of them though. But I'm gonna dry these. Do y'all like hearts of palms, artichokes? Just dry a few of them. Jesus Christ. Dry them off. Okay, you got it. I burnt myself. Jesus Christ, why do I have to drop these? Because slow down. There's always a revelation in something. 
I keep messing up because you ain't slowing down. All right. So I'm going to put these in here. I'm going to take this off this eye. I think I want some more sauce in there. But I want to spray this too. Do I have some more spray? Yes. This is my favorite, avocado oil. All right. So I'm just gonna do this. <clears throat> I'ma double them too for the protection. Keto friendly lasagna, it's perfect. Or should I do it this way, three and three? That might be an easier cut. Let me see. It don't matter, girl. Which way I want to do it? <laughs> Today it look like I'm playing with my food. Do I want to do it this way? I don't really think it matter. But let's see. That's why I got... Everything is dropping. Why is everything dropping? I don't want my heat to get cold. I should have did this sooner. So y'all learning with me, okay? Okay, I'm going to pour, yeah, I want some more sauce. Oh, but I'm splashing. Okay, don't cook uh, tomato sauce with bright colors. Got it. But you know what? I forgot if I'm supposed to. Let me taste it. Because I put some more. Mm-hmm. 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 It's so good, y'all. Okay. Okay. I don't want to do that. Praise God. We're going to have to bring this over here, though. Why do I have to keep sneezing? Okay. And I want to wipe that off, too. Got you. Okay. Here we go. That's nasty. You gonna keep making all them noises? You know, I think, look, I messed up my cutting board. I think the cheese will help hold it. Okay, so I think the cheese can be like a glue. So I'm gonna try the cheese first. That's the freezer, praise God. Mexican cheese. Yes. Okay. Let's try. Let's see. I'm supposed to use, let's just see. Let's just see. I think I want to do one more layer of sheets. Let's just see. Yes. Do I want to do that? Let's see. I need some more. Not you running out of sheets. That's stupid. Okay. Okay. So I put my sheets down. I'm going to spread this. This pan might not be big enough. I think I'm gonna put my ricotta. I still want this hot though. 
Is that onions? Yeah, that oven, not onion. Oh, I gotta show y'all. I learned how to make this um this what? This uh mushroom soup. And it's so good. That's too much noise. Okay. So actually I did need the other meat. Alright, let's see. I think I'm gonna do this knife. Is this right? I don't think that's right. Girl, you ain't supposed to do this like that. Do you know how to do this then? <laughs> okay, hold on. Okay. I don't think this is right. And that's already, I know it ain't right because it feel like it ain't right. But we gonna try. And it's obviously a mess. Am I doing this right? We gonna have to YouTube. <laughs> I feel like this supposed to spread a little better. Why am I, I, I did this before. It's like when I know y'all watching me, I act like I don't got no sense. But let's see. I hope so. Cause child. Okay, you can't keep making them noises on the TV show. So if you gonna wanna do this, you can't do that. All right, I'm gonna put the cheeses. I mean the sheets. I'm gonna put the rest of the sheets. Let me dry this off. I can't use that no more because I put it on the cap. All right. I'm gonna dry these off. Take your time, Key. Everything doesn't have to be in a worry, in a hurry. So I think the reason why I love cooking is because. It helps me to see my habits and it's obviously it's different strokes for different folks but it helps me to see that I'm always in a hurry slow down take your time also it gives me time to think so when I'm by myself it feels like I'm accomplishing something so I don't know who may be watching and sometimes you're like super hard on yourself but sometimes it's like the little things that matter that'll help you kind of you know see the beauty in yourself like yeah you can do this don't say you can't do it because you know, if somebody asks you, do you know how to cook? No, I don't know how to cook. Well, it's because you ain't tried it. So, yeah, you don't know how to cook. But if you try it, you know, give yourself a chance. You know, I'm no life coach or anything. But I do hope to, uh-oh. I do hope to inspire. <laughs> I do hope to inspire um, people when they see me. But... It's turning out good. So the cool thing about this dish is you're getting you're getting a meat and a vegetable. So they can't judge you and you can't judge yourself. <laughs> That's so ugly. All right, I'm going to top it off. I'm going to put my cheese. I need some more cheese because this is done. So I'm gonna mix it, thank you, with some cheddar cheese. I wanna get this raw meat out of my sight. Praise the Lord. I need another container to cover this up. But maybe you don't have to get me doing that, putting that over there in the side. Okay, cheese. Get my cheese. Oh, I want some more, some other color cheese to make this pretty. Let me mix it in. So 
So on the on a keto diet. That's the only thing. So that's why I do yo-yo diets. So transparent moment. Uh-oh. Transparent moment. I do the yo-yo diets because on the keto, you take out the carbs, you take out the sugars, or however, you know, the placement is. You know, that might not be the exact. But if we did no carbs, no sugars, you definitely see the results, right? Because I've done that and I saw the results. Lost over 100 pounds. So the thing is, though, you're flooding your body with all of this meat, dairy, all of those things. And so I'm like, okay, now I need a break from that. So then you go to the veggies and now to replace or your protein on a veggie diet is more carb based. So that's the challenge that I've, I've oh, y'all just got to pray. Pray my strength in the Lord. But it's a lifestyle, which is why I'm understanding that when you make a lifestyle, you won't find that you yo-yoing and all over the place. But let's see how this turn out. All right. There's that. Can you see the layers? It looks good. It looks good. Let's try. So I'm putting it in. Um, and... Usually you would put this in for like 30. Uh oh, it's about to drop again. But usually you put it in for like 30 minutes. I'm using my um oven pressure, my pressure oven. <laughs> and um I can cook it a little faster. That's why I love it. Okay. So, lock it in. I put it on like 350. I'm going to put it on 370 and I want to put it on bake. Did I lock it in? Yes. Now I'm going to straighten up. Ugh. Okay, so let's see how it comes out. I'm gonna call a few of my friends. So those of you who are trying to, um, those of you who are always trying to like just learn how more, how more can I be connected with Kiera? What I've been doing is this um, Instagram subscription, and y'all, we be praying, we be warring, we be. We're usually warring and praying. <laughs> I'm gonna show you. I know how to talk. We're praying and warring before the Lord. So, um, oh, I forgot to put my Parmesan. But anyways, you can join the subscription and it's so special. I put stuff that I don't put like on other places. Um, so y'all got to check it out. So the friends that are going to call me are friends from my subscription. And um, it's another way to stay connected with me. I think it's only like $2.99. And we stay connected. It's super fun. And I just love y'all so much because y'all don't have to be nice. Y'all be ready, okay? Ready. And I love it. So I'm going to talk to them after I put all of this stuff up. Okay, so I'm cleaning up. I already put it in the oven. We're going to let it sit there for a few minutes. And then I'm going to call a few of my friends um, from the subscription. We're going to talk. All right, let's do it. Okay, so I'm getting ready to get into my calls with my subscribers. And like I said, we've been praying together. We talked together. Jordan and I sometimes in there. We did, um for our second year anniversary, we had a quick conversation about, oh, here's one. Hey. Hey. Okay, now we can be normal. <laughs> How are you today? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Okay, tell us your name. I'm Deja. Hey, Deja. Your hair color is pretty on you. Thank you. Yes. I like yours too. Thank you. Okay, so tell me, you are one of my subscribers and one of my um, sisters, so I'm really excited to chat with you. What do you like about the subscription? I love that we can get the insight of what you're doing as in music, as in your career, um, the, the book that's the new book that you're selling. Yes. Good. And I love that you, you're praying with us like almost every morning. So that's yeah. not like black supporters. Yay. It's like a closed section for us. It really is. And it's been impactful. Okay, what's your question? My question is, what's your most memorable moment of 2022? Oh, 2022? That's the a good question. Done. What'd you say? I said the year almost done. It sure I'm is. Done. Um... Dang, I need to go through my phone. That's a good question. My most memorable moment of 2022? Huh? Oh, yes. That's a good one. Okay, I got some good memories. It's just, you know, how life just kind of goes, goes, goes. And it's like, wait a second, what happened? So thank you for asking that question. Um, Disney happened in 2022. 
that was a major, that's super major. And um, that was a blessing. It was a dream come true. I had that opportunity with my mommy, who I absolutely adore. Um, I think another memorable moment is um, being at convocation. It's because my dad did, um, he, he stepped in office as presiding bishop. Uh, while we were in the pandemic, but to see it in the space where we've been in church. That was wonderful. Yeah, it was really, and convocation was amazing. Like, I was proud of my church. I was proud of what I came from. Um, and it was just really good. And then um, our sec, you said what was my most memorable moment, but I'm giving you three. My other one was... What's another one? Um, my second year anniversary. Um, the <laughs> We did it, Joe. <laughs> we did it. Uh, we learned so much. My husband is amazing. And one of my greatest tips that I learned in 22 was to work to see your husband as the Lord sees him. Because sometimes we can annoy each other. So that's been a great lesson for me with him, but not just him, but other people. So that I don't cut people off. So, yes. What's your most memorable moment? Maybe going on a cruise with my sisters for our birthday. It was me, Ty, and Tanae in February. Okay. Did you have fun? I did. It was it was wonderful. Good. And did you did you do good? Were you good? Did you behave well? Yes, ma'am. Okay, I'm trusting you. <laughs> okay, well love you. Love you too. Okay, see you. Hey Naraya. Oh. Hey. <laughs> okay, I'm really excited to talk to you. Tell me real quick, what do you love about the subscription? I definitely love the prayers. The prayers is definitely keeps me going every really? time. Yes. I'm so happy. Okay, well, tell me what was your most favorite prayer so far? Which one stood out to you or something that you remember Ooh. me saying? That's a hard one. That's a hard one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um... Probably the most recent one because I've been going through it. Really? So definitely the most recent one. Okay. I just love all of them. Thank you so much. Naraya is a beautiful name. Um, do you have a sister? What are the rest of your siblings' names? Okay, so I have four other siblings. So it's um, two oldest, Shade and Jolien. Then it's me and my twin, Nasaya. And then my youngest, which is Journey. All of these names are super lit. I need to call your mama and say, Ma, what should I name my child, please? <laughs> these are so good. These are Journey, Nasaya, Noraya, Shade, jo yeah. and who? Was and Jolene. And Jolene. Jo yes. <laughs> Jolene or Jolene? Jolene. Okay. 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 I'm not going to get all of you, but I was about to say, what's mama's name? What's daddy's name? Okay, just stop. All right. What's your question today? Um, my my question, sorry, is uh, definitely me being more consistent. How do you manage not only your faith, but life in general, being more consistent? Because me being um, a senior in high school, getting ready to graduate in about three months. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes! Um, uh, woo! Confetti, right. confetti. Confetti. But yeah, I feel like I I just need to be a little more consistent, not only in my daily life, but in my faith as well. So I just need a few tips and tricks on that. Well, I think what has helped me is um, paying attention to what God has done, putting those reminders, you know, sometimes just reminding yourself, like, if God did this for you and you did it his way and you saw that that panned out for you, then why not keep going his way? Of course, we are human, so we're going to have our moments where we're going to get in the way and we're going to just want to do our own thing. But I think what has helped me and held me accountable is having people around me who are like me, who like to have a good time, who know balance, um, people who don't shut themselves themselves away you know and say that they are believers but who know how to live life and enjoy the abundance so I think that's what encourages me as well as the accountability um I, I have tried to train myself to be open to people being honest with me I'm not open to um yay saying people I gravitate to people who are honest um but who know how to tell me the bible talks about how if you have it with honey it's babe it's a you're able to receive it better. Um, so I think, too, me being around people who can tell me the truth and know how to tell me the truth so that I can digest it well 
Um, I think that makes all the difference. So consistency is the, the company you keep. Uh, we become the company we keep. And I think that that's a, a way to stay consistent. But if we are always around somebody that, you know, complements our flesh and is more of a liability than an asset, then that's going to always be our issue. So hopefully that helps you. Like they got to be on the same wave as you. Like if you got goals, all right, we getting this together. You know what I'm saying? We running together. We running this race together. So I think that that is what makes the difference. I hope that helps you. Definitely. Thank you so much. Yeah. I've been, yeah. And I've you know been what? Focused. One other thing that I would encourage you is to be care like be careful to not be so hard on yourself. Um, and it's funny that you said you asked this question because I was just saying in the beginning when I started cooking, one of the things that I'm doing in the new year is pacing myself, planning and being strategic. I think when we do things on a limb or is it on the limb or on a whim? On a whim. Limb. Well, when you do a things in the spirit of the moment, like, let me hurry up and get this done, or we procrastinate. I was reading something the other day, and it says procrastination is a form of arrogance, believing and trusting that God will give you another opportunity that you already have for you to get it done because you didn't feel like doing it in that moment. And that set me free. So um, I think uh, strategizing, planning, not doing things last minute, pacing yourself, giving yourself the grace to, that helps you to set realistic goals so that you are not you know, over committing and then trying to overachieve. And it's just, I can take my time. If I do it, I do it. If not, that doesn't mean I can't. It's just not time. I need more practice. So that's what helps consistency. Oh, thank you. That really helped me because I am not consistent with my thing. I got you. What aren't you consistent with? Oh, a lot of things. Okay. Like I tend to do things last minute, which ah, is my problem. Got you. <laughs> but... I, um, not only that, it's just like, I don't plan ahead, gotcha. which I'm trying to start doing, Yeah, but it's all a process. It is. It is. But you can do it and don't use that as clutch. Cause we'll use a process. I'm human. Don't judge me as clutch. <laughs> but after a while we got to get it together. But I believe in you, Naraya, and I'm super excited about your future. Thank you. Bye, boo. Mwah. Bye. Okay. Love you. Love you too. Bye. Bye. Hey, okay, so here we go. Ooh, it smell good too, y'all. I think it turned out well. So here's the thing. I, I think next time I'll put some egg in it because it is, we're going to see though. The cheese might have held it together, but it smells really good and it looks really good. We know the meat is good, so let's just taste it. Okay, let's cut into it. Lord have mercy. Okay. Oh, it's going in easy. Okay. Okay, so this not be, it may not be as bad as what I think. But see, now the I think I told y'all the hearts of palm noodle, it because it's a vegetable, you're gonna get that water, right? So that's why I think I wanted to put some egg in it. Because these are like cheese crisps. So we're going to take this out and put it in there, Alice. All right. I'm trying. That's how it turned out, but I just took a piece of that cheese and it's good. So see, this is still veg, uh, water based, but it's good. Mm. Let me get a fork. So I'm going to take a piece of this. So obviously it's gonna fall apart just a little bit. Because, but it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm not y'all hear me chewing. It's good. It's good if you want some lasagna and you can't have the pasta, here's your answer. Shout out to a keto friendly situation. All right, my door is ringing. I love y'all. Thank y'all for subscribing. Click the notifications button. Share it with a family member or a friend. I hope you, I hope you were encouraged. I love you. Bye.